look who's here. Maestro. Hey. And you, you couldn't play something good, huh? And Hank Williams or something? They broke the door down before I could take requests. Was it worth it? <laughs> Two weeks in the hall? Easiest time I ever did. Oh, shit. No such thing as easy time in the hall. That's right. A week in the hall is like a year. Damn straight. I am Mr. Mozart to keep me company. <laughs> so they let you tote that record player down there, huh? It's in here. In here. That's the beauty of music. They can't get that from you. Haven't you ever felt that way about music? Well, I played a mean harmonica as a younger man. Lost interest in it, though. Didn't make much sense in here. Here's where it makes the most sense. You need it so you don't forget. Forget? Yeah, forget that there are places in the world that aren't made out of stone, that there's a, there's something inside that they can't get to, that they, they can't touch. It's yours. What are you talking about? Hope. Hope. Let me tell you something, my friend. Hope is a dangerous thing. Hope can drive a man insane. It's got no use on the inside. Better get used to that idea. Like Brooks did. All right, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone that rule well. And a sincere salutation to the Akim pushing his truth and sincerity. All right, so basically what you saw was a clip from the movie uh, Shawshank Redemption, all right? And um, the uh, the Edomite played by Tim Robbins, all right? His name was Andy Dufresne, okay? He was basically talking to the uh, the Jake played by um, Morgan Freeman. His name was Red. Uh, he, was, he was talking to him. He was talking about hope because obviously they were in a prison setting, man. And, you know, he said, you know, it's something that is inside that they can't take from you, you know. <clears throat> so I was thinking about how, you know, H, brother in this truth, man, he has something inside that nobody can take from him, man. And that and that's hope, you know what I mean? So uh, I was thinking about that and I built a lesson around, you know, that thought. But I decided to put that clip in there, you know, Lord, well, it'd be edifying, you know, because we extract... Um, truth from from songs and from movies and, and and everything you know we're a spiritual people all right so um you know Bahashem Rakakadash you know uh we're willing this this video be edifying okay and I want to start in the book of Romans man because every creature every son you know of Yahweh Bashemi Shai has this hope in him man you know to 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 ultimately be uh be uh, be saved you know, out of the coming destruction, because we know it's biblical prophecy that America will be destroyed by um, uh, nuclear warfare. OK, that's the way the Lord's going to um, judge uh, Babylon the Great, which is uh, America. OK, so <clears throat> without further to do, I'm going to go into the book of Romans and uh, eight chapter. I'm going to start at the ninth verse, 19th verse. It says, for the earnest expectation of the creature waited for the manifestations of the sons of the Most High. Right. The earnest um, expectation of the creature, you know, our earnest expectation, you know, us uh, being um, servants of Yahweh Bashim Yashai is to see the manifestation of the hopeful elect, man, of the elect, the elect of Israel, the elect of Yahweh Bashim Yashai. That's our our earnest expectation, you know, that, that's what, you know, that's what we, we, we hope for, man. You know, nobody can take that from us, man. Nobody, not, not Esau, the so-called white man, and not two thirds, you know, of our own people, the wicked of our people. Nobody can take that, that hope from us, man. Romans 8 and 19, for the earnest expectation of the creature waited for the manifestation of the sons of the most high, right? We're waiting, you know, Lord willing, we'll be manifested to be 
uh, the sons of Yahweh Bashim Shai, the elect. Okay, and that's that's that, and nobody can take that from us. That, that's what we we we, we desire. Uh, Twenty verse, for the creature was made subject to vanity, and you saw um, Morgan Freeman, you know, played by uh, you know that the Judite, you know, Esau's always you know making us look bad, you know, he he, he you know. He he was he, he he was vain in his opinion, man. You know his opinion was uh, that hope is a dangerous thing because it'll make you go crazy. Hey, well, the scriptures say we're fools for Yahweh's sake, man. So it doesn't matter how we look, man. We we look the way we look for Yahweh's shy. We preach this word and for 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 hopes, you know, to get saved. So who cares what people think about us, you know? And basically, he had no faith, man, that he was ever gonna. You know, get out of a situation, but you know, the Lord will get us out of these situations. He'll get us out of bondage. You know, like in that movie, they were they were in they were they were in captivity. You know, being in prison. You know, but they suffer for their sins, right? <clears throat> so I'm gonna run that back. Romans eight and twenty. For the creature was made subject to vanity, right? Us is us is uh, in this flesh. We're made subject to 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 vanity, which is which is things that um they don't profit anything. You know, roughly, you know, that's what that's what vanity is, man. All right. It says not willingly. All right. So it's it's not it's not of our whole. It's not of our will to be vain, you know, but it says it can, it says, but by reason of him who has subjected the same in hope, the, you know, the Lord subjected us to be to vanity, but to also to have hope, you know, in the midst of us going off. You know, being in this fleshly body, you know, the, for the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but by reason of him, Yahweh Yashai, who has subject the same in hope, man. The Lord sub, subject, we're, in, we're, we're subjected to be in hope, you know, so we, we're, we're, we're vain, but we're also, we have hope, man. All right. I'm, uh, let's see. This is Romans 8 and 24. It says, for we are saved by hope. Right. Hey, man, we're saved by hope, man. You know what I mean? We are, we have a, um, we have something that nobody has, man. We have Yahweh Bashim Yashai. We have this truth. We have the mysteries. We have the secrets, man. You know what I mean? So we have, we have hope, man. We, 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 see, we're, we're, we see behind the scenes, man. We're, we're, we're. We're on a uh, another wavelength. We see things that people don't see, man. We're like, we're like, you know, behind the scenes with it. You know what? You know, by what people might be the actors, we're we're behind the scenes, man. We're we're seeing really what's who's controlling, who's moving, who's shaking things. You know, if, if I could say that, it says, "For we are saved by hope, but hope that is seen is not hope." Right. So, if you hope in something that you see it, it's it's not hope, man. You know, because I looked at that word hope in, in basic uh, Google, just a basic definition. It says confidence in the future, expectation of something desired. Well, you can't you can't see what's in the future. I mean, we spiritually see prophecies coming to pass and, and we know because we're seers and we see, you know, but but we don't see how shy, you know, now, you know, we don't see the destruction happening, you know, per se at this moment, man. But we hope for the Lord to destroy this place and deliver us. We hope for this place to be wiped clean, you know, you know, have that clean, to have that clean state on the earth, to start off with a clean slate, so to speak, for we are saved by hope, but hope that is seen is not hope, right? Hope that is seen, it's not hope, man, because you see it, all right? Hope is something that you expect in, in the future, something you desire, for what a man seeth, why doth he yet hope for? So if you see something, you're not going to hope for anything because you already see it. You know, like you go to work and you hope to get paid at the end of the week. All right. But if you got if if you got paid at, 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 on Monday, then you really wouldn't be working for your paycheck. You'd be like, I already got it. That's not hope. You know what I mean? You wouldn't have no hope in it because you already received it. All right. This is Romans 8 and 25. But if we hope for that, we see not. Right. And that's what we do. Huh? We, we, we have. We, we hope for, uh, we expect something in the future. We desire something in the future. 
you know, and that's that's basically we desire to 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 because we've been called to do this truth. We desire to stay in the body. We desire to be among the brothers. You know, we we desire to 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 continue and to edify our people to make to build our people up and tell them who they are. We we desire to do this work right. We desire to be righteous. You know, we desire to be saved from the coming destruction. We desire to get the kingdom, man. And nobody can take that from us, man. It's 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 embedded in us. You know, we're subject to that hope, you know, and, and, and we're fools at times, you know, we're vain, we go off, but, but yet we, 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 we have that righteous hope, that expectation. It says, but if we hope that we see not, then do we with patience wait for it? Right. So if we hope that we see not, then do we have patience? Then do we with patience wait for it? And, and and we do, man, because, you know, you have to have patience for something you can't see, man. You have to have patience for for the manifestation of your name being called to be the elect. You have to you have to you have to have patience and you have to wait for that, man. You know what I'm saying? It's something that that, that nobody can take from you. But that is, at the same time, you know, you know, that good things come to those who wait. You know what I'm saying? Like as it has been said in the world. All right. And with that, I'm going to go to the book of Lamentations because, you know, while we're not with you, how shy, man, we have to seek the Lord. We have to be in these scriptures, man. We have to uh, look things up, man. We have to research, you know, search this, search this, this truth out, search the scriptures out, search wisdom, knowledge and understanding out, you know, so that we can have the, the necessary tools to be able to um, continue in this faith. This is Lamentations 3 and 25. It says, Yahweh is good unto them that wait for him. Right. The Lord will be good to you if you wait, man. You know, you got the desire. You got that hope of being saved. You have to wait. The Lord will be good to you if you wait, man. The scriptures say, in your patience, possess ye your souls. Yahweh is good unto them that wait for him, to the soul that seeketh him. Right. The, the Lord will be good to you if you seek him, man. He'll be good to you, man. He'll, he'll uplift your spirit, man. He'll, he'll, he'll um, sup with you. Uh, Lamentations 3 and 26, it is good that a man should both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of the Lord. That's a good thing, man, for you to hope and quietly wait for it, man. I see you got to do, you got to be meek, you got to be humble, man. You know what I'm saying? And if, and if you lack in those things, you got to pray, man, because you know, at any moment, man, Satan can creep up in you and, 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 and you be puffed up or you be, you be, you be proud, or, you know what I mean? But you got to have humility, man. You got to be, you got to wait. You got to be meek. Got to be quiet, man, and patiently wait for the salvation, you know. All right. And with uh, that, I want to go to the book of. Uh, let's see, you know, but you got Jake in the movie, man. What was he doing, man? He said hope was a dangerous thing, man, because hope will drive you crazy, man. But. But, you know, you can't have that mind frame, man. You can't go crazy, you know, waiting on the Lord, man. You know? This is the book of Wisdom of Solomon 3 and 11. It says, Whoso despises wisdom and nurture, he is miserable, and their hope is vain. Right? So you, 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 you despise the Lord correcting you, the chastisement. You despise, you know, brothers getting on you. You despise um, certain things you have to go through your own personal cross hey man you know the lord's not going to be good to you man because you're not being humble you're not being quiet you're not patient waiting for you how about shimmy out shy all right this is uh running back this is uh wisdom of solomon 3 and 11 for whoso despises wisdom and nurture he is miserable and their hope is vain right your hope is vain your hope is is, is for nothing man their labors unfruitful and their works unprofitable. Right, the things that you labor, it won't, it won't be, it won't be of any good, man. There won't be no profit in it. You know, it, it, it'll be, it'll just, it'll go to waste, man. So you, you know, you have to, you have to love to be nurtured by how Bashim Yahshai. You have to love wisdom and knowledge. It, it, you know, the Lord to sup with you. You have to be subject unto the heavenly Father. You have to seek Him out, man. You got to seek out this, this truth. You got to get into it. You know. Because, you know, that was the spirit that Jake was in, man. Morgan Freeman. His name was, uh, his character, his name was Red. That was the name of his character in that movie, Shawshank Redemption. All right. So, yeah, man. You know, but us, on the other hand, 
Hey man, we we fear. You know, you gotta fear your Habashimi Ashai, man. Because fear is the beginning. Well, actually, I wrote it down in my notes right here. <clears throat> see. So I, see. I thought I wrote it down. Did I write it down? Let's see. Uh, let me go to the book of Sirach. I know where the scripture is. I wrote it down, but I know where it's at. So let me go to the book of Sirach 2 and 9. It says, this is the book of Sirach 2 and 9. It says, ye that fear the Lord, right? And you have to fear the Lord. That's another thing, man. You got to fear your how about Shemiah man. That's the only way you're going to um, get any kind of knowledge and, and understanding in this truth, man. You got to fear what the Lord can do to you. You got to fear, you know, falling out of the truth, man. You got to fear that. All right. Let me get this preset real quick. I thought I wrote it down, but I, I know where it's at. This is uh, Psalms um, 110 and 10. It says, no, so like 111 and 10. Psalms 111 and 10. It says, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So when you fear the Lord, man, you, be, you begin to be wise, man, because you know that, you know, you're smart enough to not do something dumb because the Lord's going to jack you up, man. So either, either he's going to, um, you know, uh, uh, chastise you or you're going to get um, exposed, you know, your secret's going to come out and then you're going to get casted out and, you know, the Lord will do that to you, man. You don't you, you don't want the Lord to um, to uh, make a mockery out of you, you know what I'm saying? So you have to fear the Lord, all right? The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. You got to be wise, you know, wise and not be a fool, be circumspect, you know? It says a good understanding have all they that do is commandments, man. So, if you're wise, you'll do the Lord's commandments, man. If you fear Yahweh Hashem Yahshua, you'll do His commandments. If you seek Him, you know, and patiently wait for Him, have hope in Him, man, and 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 and, and desire, you know, salvation. The Lord will be good to you. You know, He'll 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 come to you, man. He'll make Himself manifest unto you. Okay, so this is <clears throat> back in the book of Sirach two and nine. It says, "Ye that fear the Lord, hope for good and for everlasting joy and mercy, man." You have to hope for good and everlasting joy and mercy, man. Okay, because that's what thing. That's what this truth is about. It's about, it's about doing this thing in a, in a joyful spirit, man. You got to be content with bringing out the word. You got to be apt to teach. You know, you got to be um, confident in this truth. You know, confident in who you learn this truth from. Confident and 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 that you're you're comparing spiritual things with spiritual things, like you know, a movie. And bring it out and extract the truth from it and put it on and make another video upon it so you can, you know, have, you know, wise words. You can build up a brother, you know, it's, 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 it's all for the edification of the body, man. You know, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta hope, you know, in, in, in the Lord that he's with you while you're doing your work, man. You know, that your labor not be unfruitful, you know, that your, 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 your works be not in vain. <clears throat> this is uh, Sirach 2 and 9. Ye that fear the Lord, hope for good and for everlasting joy and mercy. Man, that's what we're supposed to be hoping for. We're supposed to be hoping for the kingdom to come. Everlasting eternal life, man. You know, that's what we need to hope for. That's what we in this truth for, man, to, you know, get that, to that, to get that, 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 that reward. <clears throat> so like, it. <clears throat> let's see. This is a. Uh, I'm going to go into the book of Sirach 34, and I believe I'm going to uh, end it out on this. I don't want to make the video too long. This is, um, this is uh, Sirach 34 and um, 13. The spirit of those that fear the Lord shall live. All right? The spirit of those that fear the Lord shall live, because you're going to be wise. Wise in what? In this knowledge that on high, you're gonna be, you're gonna be, um, you're gonna, you're gonna know not what to get involved in, you know, know where to go, know what to eat, know, know how to, you know, keep your, your vessel in sanctification, be holy, you know. So rock thirty four and eleven, uh, thirteen. The spirit of those that fear the Lord shall live. For their hope is in him that saveth them. Man, the, those that fear the Lord, they're going to live. and Because their hope is in Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. Man, Yahweh Shai is the, is the Savior, the deliverer of Israel, man. All right? He's the one that's going to come and, and, 
and 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 take us out of this place, man, and, and make all things new. You know, our bodies new. You know, our 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 our. Um, you know, we're just gonna go back into a, a a holy place, a holy state, as we're we we lived in in this life. It's it's just this life is you know like the apostle what well, Rhyme Love said. It's like a cesspool of wickedness, man. It's just it's horrible, man. For their hope is in Him that saveth them, right? Their their desire, man. Their 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 expectation, their future. Uh, goal, their hope is in, in Yahweh Hashem Yahshai, man, and, and him who's going to save them. Whoso feareth the Lord shall not fear nor be afraid, for he is his hope. Right. If Yahweh Shai be with you and you're doing the right thing and being righteous, there's no reason to be afraid, man. you got to pray to the Lord. They, they, of course, the, he He guides you because, you know, they've got some brothers out there, they got they got different lots. You know what I mean? Some brothers are, 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 are going to be, you know, um, you know, plague more in the spirit, man. You know, it's a spiritual battle, man. It's not necessarily just, uh, 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 oh, brother's this or oh, brother, he ain't strong or this is the case. It's not that, man. The Lord, you know, we have different lots and, and brothers have uh, higher understanding sometimes uh, and other brothers have, have um, you know, other things they deal with. But ultimately, the thing about it is that, you know, you, the Lord is going to suck with you. He's going to be with you. going to protect you, man. You know what I'm saying? It says, Whoso feared the Lord shall not fear nor be afraid, for he is his hope. Right? So when you fear the Lord, man, the Lord's going to be your hope, man. You know, that's 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 who brothers call on. You know, the, the righteous run to you. When they pray, the Lord hears them. The Lord delivers them out of certain things. You know what I mean? And, you know, like I was saying to the Spirit earlier, like, Right now, it's just sometimes brothers be, um, you know, different lots, man. You know, other brothers might be going through some real stuff, man. You know, they have a hope in them that nobody can take away, you know. And, and ultimately, you know, they're fearing the Lord. The Lord's going to deliver them and save them, you know. And, and it'd be like that with all brothers, man. You know, the apostles, got a, they got, they got a, a high calling, you know, the, hey, Apostle Har was saying it too. You know, hey, he said the demons know who he is. You know what I mean? Because it's like that, man. When you, 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 you know, if we be those men, man, we are fighting a spiritual battle with the words that we speak. You know, other people, they see the spirit upon us. They see, you know, that we're different. You know what I mean? So there's no need to, to, um, to be afraid of that. You know what I'm saying? You know, these are words that brothers need to hear. Brothers need to hear that, man. Brothers need to be consoled in that because this is it is a spiritual battle, you know what I'm saying? And and not not you know, it's the spirit that quickeneth, man. You know, you the, the Lord knows who's are his, man. You know, and the demons, man, they be they be fucking with them because the Lord, you know, put that heavy spirit on them to 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 see certain things, you know what I'm saying? We we, we see through walls, so to speak, man. Alright. This is uh, Sirach 34 and 14. Whoso feareth the Lord shall not fear nor be afraid, for he is his hope. Bless, blessed is the soul of him that feareth the Lord, to whom doth he look, and who is his strength. Right? Blessed is the soul of him, man, that feareth Yahweh Shem Whom To whom doth he look, right? So who does he look for? He looks for the Lord, man. And who is his strength? Who is his strength? Really, it's the Lord. Because really, the Lord is behind every single brother in this truth. No matter what portion you got, the Lord is behind every single brother. And every brother has, you know, can see through walls in this truth. Every brother has a certain um, measure, you know what I'm saying, of, of faith. And they, they preach this word to the best that they can. And the Lord protects them and delivers them. You know, some brothers are plagued with more demons than others. Some brothers are, are not plagued so much, but they get hit in other ways, you know. They, they catch affliction and tribulation in other ways. Their trials are different ways. But ultimately, they have that hope, man, and nobody can take that from them. You know? All right, so it, who, who, do, who do brothers look for? Who is their strength? It's in who? The Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. For the eyes of the Lord are upon them that love him. He is their mighty protection and strong stay. A defense from heat. And a cover from the sun at noon, a preservation from stumbling, and a help from falling, man. Okay, so those those that fear the Lord and those that have hope in Him, all right, the, the Lord is a is is a is is a mighty protector, man. And 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 
And he's a preservation from you from stumbling and from falling, man. So we have to have that hope in Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. It's all about it's all about Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. It's all about the Lord, man. Having having that confidence in him and having that that earnest desire, that earnest expectation. And every brother has it in this truth, man. You know, we see it. Brothers see it. I see it in brothers, in other brothers, in other videos, other camps. I see it in brothers, man. Brothers see it in, in us. And Lord willing, brothers see it in, even in myself, man. So, you know, hey, we got that hope, man. You know, there's something inside of us, man. You know, the the, 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 the demons can't take it. The the, the east, the, the the main demon, the so-called white man, you know, two-thirds of our wicked-ass people, not even they can take this hope from us, man. Right? So, you know, I pray this video was edifying. And I want to say, Barakatah Yahweh, Barakatah Yahweh Shai, Barakatah Yahweh, Barakatah Yahweh Shai. All praise, honor, glory to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the apostles, great millstone that rule well. And a sincere salutation to the Akim, pushing his truth and sincerity. Bach Hashem, Rakah Kadash. All right. And I just want to say, Shalom.